Aren't we all thankful that spring is here? We finally get the snow. It's starting to thaw a little bit. Get outside for some runs, some walks. But you have to watch out for allergies, of course. About 36 million Americans battle seasonal allergy problems. Runny nose, itchy eyes, congestion, all typical symptoms. They can really make it miserable outside. So joining us today is Dr. Shane Galucius, ear, nose, and throat specialist with Mercy Medical Center. Thanks for making some time to join no us. No trouble. Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, so how can people battle back against this? We're going to be at 53 degrees degrees here on Wednesday. So I know, and it's going to start coming in. And one of the benefits of us living in Iowa is everything grows really well, but we True. also get a lot of allergies. Um, you know, there's a lot of different options out there. I think the first step is just knowing that you have them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of people have the symptoms, runny nose, itchy eyes. A lot of people clue into that. Um, and then we can do testing just to be sure. You know, do you have these symptoms or not? Do you have these conditions? Uh, from there, there's a lot of different medications that we can use. There's obviously over-the-counters, a a lot of these um, allergy drugs have, have been available without a prescription right. for some time. Um, and there's nasal sprays and things like that that are also over the counter. But there are some prescription medications that can be really helpful. For the people who have concerns about this, what are some of the allergy triggers that are out there, the more well, common ones? The pollens are a big one. Yeah. Um, and the pollens tend to follow seasons. So in spring allergies will generally be tree pollens. Summer will be grasses. And fall will be weeds, such as ragweed. Mm -hmm and things like that. You can also have yearly allergens such as dust. That's something that we see a lot of. And then particularly in this area, we do see a lot of mold um, allergies that come from a lot of the uh, debris, uh, organic debris, farming, things of that nature. And those tend to run all year round as well. When does a person reach a point where whatever they can pick up over the counter is just not working well enough or they need to see a specialist and when does someone reach that critical point where they need to take an additional step to try to fix this? You know it's a great question. I think when you really notice it affecting your life, you're taking uh, an over-the-counter medication and it's not clearing up the symptoms, you, you're having trouble at work, you're having trouble with sleep, you're having um, difficulty enjoying the things that you mm -hmm. like to do, um, avoiding the things that you used to do because they're causing problems. That's really when you want to see someone. Um, so we can get some answers and, and tailor some treatments to help. And there are some therapies that we can utilize to um, not necessarily cure the allergies, but really reduce those symptoms, almost retrain the body to not be so sensitive. And it's critical to think about this because we're constantly telling people to get outside and try to be mm -hmm. active, but if you can't really be active because of what's in the air, it can make a mess of it in a hurry. So oh, absolutely. A lot well, of people suffer. Uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to join us. We do appreciate this. So no trouble. Happy again. to help. Thanks. And if